Good morning, everybody. This is Drew, your host of Alluvial Adventures. Come along with us today. Hang around. We're going. We're reclaiming a bunch of old pallets. We're going to do some construction with those. Going to make a studio. We're several other projects we're, we've got in mind. So we're just going to work around the house today, and cook some good food, and see who comes to visit. You know, we normally got deer hang around here and keep things exciting and interesting. So y'all follow along with us and uh, we'll see where this day goes. Well, y'all, we're about to get to work today. We got some construction to do. We started on the chest today. Uh, there's Cairo, he's a supervising again. Cairo, you watch him. If he don't do it right, you bite him. <laughs> you better get him. Y'all, I apologize for the background noise, but we still got our construction projects underway. We're going to smoke us a little sausage here for lunch have some smoked sausage chips be out here in the great outdoors enjoying nature and the wildlife what we're doing we were claiming a bunch of these old pallets this pallet wood we're reclaiming it we're uh, gonna make us a bunch of raised bed gardens gardening I don't, I'm not sure what the word to use, just raised bed garden boxes that we're gonna fill full of dirt and come this spring. I'm gonna have a much bigger garden than I had this year. But uh, no more bending over. Then that's, that's the thing of the past. So uh, I'm sure you guys will be interested to see how that goes. And. Uh, and so in the meantime, we're going to make us a little lunch. So you guys stay with us. Coals look about ready. We got us some hickory twigs here. We're gonna flavor these smoked sauces today with some hickory. Uh, my preferred type of smoke flavor. Now, I like mesquite and I like apple wood and I for sure like pecan on uh, turkey and chicken. But to the flavor of the day, hickory.
Just gonna let time take its course. Like I say, guys, y'all have to overlook the clutter. And we are reclaiming some of this pallet wood. We're fixing to make us a table here. A little old uh, serving table that's actually on wheels so we can roll it around, put it where we need it, put our utensils on or our food or whatever. Just something to use here in the kitchen. We're slowly but surely reclaiming all this pallet wood. We're gonna make some walls out of that. That way, when we're doing some of these cooking videos, we're actually looking at a beautiful hardwood hillside and creek bottom and not my HVAC unit. And uh, we got, the, got us a little cooking wood there at the old summit, just waiting its turn. It lives here most of the time. Got our archery targets, you know, love to shoot a bow, saw, like I say, y'all just bear with us and maybe this adventure will bear fruit.
And guys, I'm going to turn these where they'll get a little. Everybody likes that little bit of char. I like it. So, there we go. Boys look good. Lunch is going to be straight fire today. Well guys, lunch is ready. We just got us some grilled smoked sausage. Got all our condiments, mayo, mustard. I think we got some chow chow, or some greens and made a relish. Yeah, homemade squash relish, excuse me. That is not chow chow. Leftover grilled pineapple from last night and chips. Chips, sausage dogs. Good old fashioned Workday lunch, right here on the job site. Y'all, I'm gonna make me a little spicy mustard. Simple to make. Just need your favorite pair of mustard and horseradish. Mix the two up very well. Smear them on your bun. Spicy mustard. And you control the amount of spicy by how much horseradish you put in there. I like mine a little stout, so I loaded it up. And we're going to get us a sausage. And then on top of that spicy mustard, we're going to put some of this homemade squash relish another reason I garden grow a little bit of stuff where I can make food that tastes like that squash relish is really good on hot dogs sausage dogs Excellent, excellent lunch right there. Spicy mustard and the squash relish are a hit. So we're gonna eat it by lunch. We're gonna keep working on this little project. There are the four, actually four projects we got going between the, the raised bed garden containers that we're building and the serving table and the prop. We got a little work cut out for us, but we enjoy doing it. And, uh, we'll see you guys tonight at supper time. Guys, these chicken breasts are about jumbo in size, so what we're going to do, we're just going to fillet the top off of them, season that good, and put it on the grill. And that's probably 12 ounces of chicken. That'll be enough. This we'll put it in the freezer and uh, save for another meal or two. Most days it's just the two of us. Charcoal's already getting hot. We're gonna season this up.
and tonight guys normally I use some kind of smoke hickory mesquite pecan or a combination thereof but tonight we're just doing charcoal on seasoned chicken and we're gonna be thankful to get it Guys, while that chicken is cooking, we've got wood in several pallets of reclam, wood from the pallets in several stages of reclamation. There's some over there that's ready to be utilized. There's some here ready to be utilized. Some we got to get these chunks off of, like so. Uh, give me something to do tomorrow afternoon when I get home from work. Some of our seasoning wood we got to get relocated in the next couple of days. And then some of the siding. That is all going to be sanded and stained and become walls. This oak right here is going to be the footpath on a bridge across the creek. Hopefully this weekend. This poplar we're not sure yet and some more of this pine, sanded, stained, also walls of the room we're gonna build. And as you can see, we've got several, several more pallets that we need to get the reclamation process started on. But as soon as we get all these reclaimed and stacked where we want them, we're gonna do that too. So we'll be sure to keep y'all up to date on that process. And I will see y'all back at the grill. I believe that chicken's ready to turn. $2 pepper plant from the local produce market. This little old Tabasco pepper plant has far exceeded my expectations. And I've already put up 12 half pint jars of pepper sauce and there's enough on there to probably make four more jars. This thing has produced the peppers. Outstanding.
yard pool this afternoon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mom and the twins. Little six point up. Party over. They look real scared, don't they? That didn't last long. <laughs> if y'all have walked down in the woods without panicking, I'll go over there and pick me some tomatoes for supper and look scare y'all. There y'all go, good. summertime treats, that fresh tomato right out of the garden. We had to run the deer off where we could pick these. They'll be back. They think this is their house too. Chicken did not dry out. Wonderful. Nothing turns you just, it is not appetizing to eat dry, chewy, chalky chicken. So we got it right this time. I mean, that juice is running out all over the cutting board. So. Next time, may not be so lucky, but this time we got it right. Now it's time to fix us a plate. That cornbread will sure be good with those peas. Yeah, well, I think we can fix us a plate. We got cornbread. And I am going to put a little butter on mine. I know it probably ain't good for you. Neither is working 10 hours a day, but I do that every day too, so. Yeah. field peas, it was organically grown. I think I had purple hulls right from the, my Amish neighbors. And we're gonna get us some chicken. I have got to have a little bit of salt. Y'all bear with me, guys. Salt on my peas. Salt on my tomato. Yeah, let's see how the chicken turned out.
chicken and charcoal, guys. You can't go wrong. That's out of this world. We all, we appreciate y'all hanging around with us on another episode of Louisville Adventures. Like I said, it was a little all over the place with the reclaiming the pallet wood to make some stuff out of. Really, really excited to build me a raised bed garden. Garden, you get a lot of good food out of it. But that working down on the ground is over for me. Raised beds from now on. Uh, I want to take this time to thank all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. Everything y'all do for the channel means the world to me. Thank y'all. Tell all your friends, everybody join. I promise more exciting stuff will come along in the future. We got a big archery tournament coming up in a couple weeks. A few other things, and uh, we'll be glad to see y'all then. You guys have a good afternoon, and we will see you on the next one.